Are you a fan of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo book series? Well, the Brown County Library has come up with a list of other titles you might want to check out. Gillian Dawson with the Central Library is here with some great reads. Five titles, and this is Nordic Noir, right? Yes. So these are books from the Scandinavian countries. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo really kicked off the trend, and it's been continuing since then. Um, of course, in Scandinavia, which would be Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Iceland, and even a little Finland, um, this stuff has been being written for years. A couple of these actually came out in the 90s. But over they're there. popular for us now because yes. we, there was so much success with yes. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. They've just come well, over. Let, let's start out with the first one that you picked The Keeper of Lost Causes. This is actually the book that got me into Nordic Noir. Um, it is about a Danish police detective who has just been, he's just gone back into service after being horribly injured in a raid that went wrong and killed his one partner and paralyzed his other. Wow. And so they put him into a new department to deal with cold cases. And he starts looking at the disappearance of a politician from five years ago. And it alternates between his search for her and the story of where she got where she is. Ooh, it because sounds intriguing. She's still alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> and this is the first of five books. Oh, so great. Far. So if you like it, then there's four more that mm -hmm. you can check out. The Hypnotist is next. The Hypnotist was really creepy to me. It was um, about this doctor who is called in to the hospital. The police have found this horrible crime scene, an entire family slaughtered. These books are unpleasant. I should okay. mention that. They're not for kids. <laughs> not for kids. <laughs> okay. Um, but there is one, the son was actually found alive. And so he's in the hospital, he's in a coma, and they've brought in this doctor because he's also a hypnotist. And they're hoping that he can hypnotize, hit, him hypnotize the boy to talk about what happened so they can maybe find a lead, protect his sister who is, was not at home. And what they find is not what they were expecting. Okay. I won't say anything okay, more. No, don't say anything more. Next we have, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, Mysterioso? Yep. And this is actually um, a series about another crime team that's put together and they find the serial murder is going on and it's these wealthy businessmen and they each have two bullets put through their head and then someone's dug the bullets out of the wall and eventually they find out that some, the criminal finally leaves a cassette tape and they realize that this is the key to finding him because it's a very rare recording of a jazz piece, Mysterioso. Oh, cool. And then next, Ava's Eye. This is, it starts out and it just grabbed me because it's a mother walking along with a five-year-old daughter and they see a body floating in the river. And the mom said, who's Ava, says, I'll go call the police, and then we'll go to McDonald's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she calls her father instead and just has a little chat with him, nothing about the body, and they go off to McDonald's. It turns out the police have already talked to Ava previously because she was friends with a woman who was murdered recently. And when they start finding out about the body that she saw it, all gets tied together. And they all sound so great. That one's Ava's Eye, and the final one is The Bat, and we ran out of time to talk about one okay. about that one, but we have all of these listed on our yep. website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin, and you can also check all these titles out at the Brown County Library. Thanks, Gillian. Thank you.